Yeah, there's a massive change in the guard. Um, Craig, unfortunately, had to retire through injury, as did Brett Wilkinson. Um, Dan's obviously moved on as well. Um, so there are a lot of, I suppose, a lot of experience and a lot of caps gone there. Um, that obviously opens opportunity for some of the younger lads to come in and cement their place in the first team and I suppose uh, put their hand up. So a couple of things obviously that we can improve on last year, the fact that Pat was new, newly in and newly appointed last year. Uh, we feel that we're a good bit ahead of where we were this time last year. Um, obviously there's uh, a, good, a good balance of the squad have remained there and uh, we're used to Pat and we know the, the structures that he's put in place all of last year. So we're a good few steps ahead. The fact that we've a lot of young guys who are now a year older and a year more experienced, we're hoping that a lot of those guys will step up and, and really put their, their best foot forward and hopefully um, add a lot more strength and depth to the squad. I think that's one thing that we've lacked over the last couple of years is that consistency to, to play week in and week out at a, at a high level and a high intensity because you're asking the same players week in and week out. So um, hopefully that strength and depth will really come to the fore this year. Yeah, you, you always getting a balance between experience and allowing the young the young guys the talented guys to get that opportunity to gain the experience so um, and, and 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 again obviously you're managing the budget and, and how it works so we, we feel that we've got to probably have a, a better balanced squad this year around that area that we've got a couple of key experienced guys but we've got some exciting talent coming through and uh, this is this is the year for those guys to get their opportunity and hopefully take it